Hi fellas, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna talk a little bit of New Edge. So I did actually clean that car today for the wife. Even though she can't drive it, she did hurt her ankle, her, her knee, I'm sorry. Um, so she's not driving right now. All right, so my 2004 New Edge, I went ahead and gave some cars some baths. So let's go ahead and turn around and let's see the action. This is a 2004, it has 72,000 miles on it. The guy already had it all set up. So, as you've probably seen in previous videos, and we have been taking it to the track quite a bit. Uh, my uncle's a member out there now, so I've actually been going with him and getting to drive out there. There's the clean F-150, all cleaned up, had its bath. There's my Hurricane Harvey edition, where it had water somewhere in this area here, all the way up. <laughs> Cleaned it all out, dried it all out, changed all the fluids, pulled a bunch of connectors, dried them out, and dehumidifiers on the inside of the truck for a month, probably. <laughs> we didn't drive this truck for over a month, so we just did a lot of care package maintenance to it to make sure it was going to be good. All right, back to the back to the new edge. This car has got bolt-ons, nothing crazy. And I think his dyno chart was showing like 240 horsepower. Pretty dang clean for a track car. Um, all interior, lightweight. So, emptied out some stuff. Got Sparkos. He had a regular seat uh, steering wheel in there. I ended up having to go out and I got that NRG deal so I could have the quick release. Makes it a lot easier to get in and out of. Maximum Motorsports roll cage. It's been a fun little car. All right, guys, let's fire this thing up. <laughs> Elegantly locked in. Seventy-two thousand four hundred thirty-seven miles. Before it goes to the track again, I will do an oil change, and we will flush all the brake fluid and stuff like that. So that's where we're at. No radio. Got all the gauges right here for the coolant and stuff. AC does work, so that's a big plus. And my quick release. Oh, dang it. I did that all messed up. I should have that out. But, yeah. We ain't worried about it. Let's do that again. Oh, about to do it again, too. <laughs> there it is. All right. Oh, hold the clutch in first, Jeremy. Guys, let's go ahead and park this back out of the way. We put the uh, 2019 out in the shop, which we can make a little stroll out to the shop. Uh, I'll show you some uh, organization that we've been doing out there. Kind of get it cleaned up. So let's take a walk to the shop. And then I'll come back out here and I'll move the truck. So I've been doing some organization and changing some stuff inside the shop. So tool area's been changed, updating in there, and I'm liking it a lot better. So let's go take a look. Lawn's looking good. A lot of people taking care of it. Cleaned up the fox body today. I got up this morning and went ahead and got into a spree of, let's go ahead and detail all cars. So, walk by the Fox body. Well, except for that silver one, because it's kind of got some issues. One day I'll get off my ass and fix it. There's old shiny Fox body. Looking pretty dang good. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm ready to do the top end on that. If anybody has any has used a Holly Terminator kit for these. Let me know how it was. Let me know how the install was. If you bought the Mustang one, if it was truly plug and play, or if I'm gonna have to jumper a lot of stuff, if you know the answers to that. And you can say it's a pain in the ass. Just stay with what you got, or it's worth the change, and who, and were they able to remote tune it, or how did they do that? All right, excuse the mess, guys. We are still working in progress, but new section got my tires up on the wall put some boards up here which i'm gonna put yeah i got something for y'all we are it's gonna be the bad part all right 
So, Mustang Garage, Corvette rear end, it will be right there. <laughs> um, so, it is what it is. But I went with the U.S. General toolboxes, got two of those, did the three quarter inch MDF wood. Um, that's Omni Wall back there. Too bad they didn't sponsor me, but I paid for it. So, and I would actually pay for it again. I actually do like it, so that is a plus. Um, so I do kind of like the little things like this. Get your little wall up there. Got the Omni Wall. Put your tools in there. Got the deal for there. My markers. And I didn't do their little kit. I actually just picked out my own stuff because I didn't want everything that they gave you. So I went ahead and picked out like that. I got that for spray cans. Um, got some of the big hooks, which I don't really, I, I don't know if I'd really recommend it on something like this wall because it's going to be more of a tool wall. So the big hooks ain't really a much unless you're just hanging some tape and stuff. But other than that, I got this. I haven't decided where I'm going to put it yet. Um, that will come in handy because of all them. Um, I did keep the cobalt center table. I just cut the back off of it and I put it over there. So that's going to be all my oil change wrenches and stuff like that will stay over there. Um, I did do the extended size on the for the screwdrivers. Did the one for the pliers, ratchets, stuff like that. I kind of think it's kind of handy. Know where you got one out there. I did the extended for double size wrenches, which you can do one on each direction of metric and standard which i'm just going to go ahead i did only metric from top and then i do on the bottom it's going to be all my standard that'll empty out the drawers another one i went out with was uh west lean westing west lean uh machines i did them they're they're very nice uh organization icon sockets from harbor freight pretty good little stuff I went with some more icon stuff, picked up some ratchets, stuff like that. I wanted to test them out. And Craftsman got no words of pain in the ass, so um, got a cobalt, husky, stuff like that out here. But I just went ahead and I was like, man, I'm going to try them out. They, they say their quality pretty good. I had 20% off, so that's what I did. That cobalt box is getting emptied out, and it'll probably go away. All right, so over to here. My 2019 is getting some work done to it. Um, That'll be on a future video. We are going to put the ARP extended studs on there. So 20 by 19 by 11 squared setup. That'll be next. And I got a radiator going underneath the hood here soon. Uh, it's already here. Supposedly I'll be having a hood coming. We'll see. Um, it was ordered through a vendor out of Anderson Composite. So let's just see what's going on. Waiting on that to figure out what the heck's going on. Hopefully it's all over this COVID stuff and nothing else. So, and we still got the Anderson Composites down there. Got the mirror caps. Oh, I don't think y'all seen it. Let's take a look. Check it out, guys. Got that center console in there. Got the seat belts in. Got the roll cage in. And like I said, I got that carbon fiber console. That was where nitrous buttons. I don't know what to put there. If you got any ideas of what I could plug that with, give me an idea because I ain't putting nitrous on it. If I decided to take this car off the track, off the road course, I would actually probably go with a Vortec. Um, so, I don't think I would do turbos again. I think I'd want to do something a little different this time. So, how much you think, guys? Um, here's my little garage tour and the tour of my cars. That's That's been a pain in the butt. I had to order a dang uh fuel pump and it's been taking a long time to get a fuel pump it's crazy thanks for watching